Twice, which is the ball. All right, so stop eating it. But let's see what God says. Don't go on what somebody says. Go on what the Bible says. All right. This is your. This is your what? This is your foundation. This is what you stand on. This is your rock. Right. Okay. Read the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. And the swine, though he divided the hook, and the swine sister, pig as pork. Okay. Want you understand that now? Let's talk in layman's terms sometime. All right. So that's pork. That's the pig. Read. Though he divided the hook and be clothed in foot, yet he threw it not the cut. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. So you hear that? The swine is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh ye shall not eat. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. God say those things are unclean to us, brother. You understand? Do you eat lobster, shrimp, catfish, shark, stingray? All those things are unclean, sister. Right. You understand? Now, any that has fins and scales, you could eat. You understand? Like you could eat what? Cooper? You could eat bonefish? Snapper? What? what? Say again? Bro, I, bro, I gave you the clean foods. Okay. Bro, I said I gave you the clean foods. I ain't worried about what you're going on sometime. Okay. Now you go catch those big, uh, what you call them fish for the, the bottom feet of, uh, what's it called? Jufin? You go pull one of them and get poisoned. That's on you, bro. They eat all the You understand? But I gave you the regular Nassau group up. You know what I'm talking about. You understand? Okay. Now read on. These shall, verse 9, these shall you eat of that are in the waters. So these what you could eat that's in the waters. Listen. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Now I ask you a simple question, brother. You ever, you ever, have you ever heard about, uh, what's that fish that has that hard skin? Uh, turban. Turban. Have you ever heard about turban? Yeah. Now you see turban? Okay, why not? I never eat it. But, but you're supposed to eat it. I never eat it. Turban, listen. Turban has what? Skin, they don't have fins. Right. You understand what I'm trying to say? You're not supposed to eat that. That's why they always smell so right. God tells, see, God is a God of order. Right. You understand? If God said, sister, do not eat twine, sister, trust God, okay? Don't mind me talking about the Christian church. They tell you, if you pray over it, anything that you pray over, they say, oh, it automatically become clean. Now you're making God a liar. Why God can make the pork unclean in the Old Testament and then come back and make it clean in the New Testament? That Bring it out. Sense? That, that sounds like a God who knows what he's doing, or that sounds like a confused God? That sounds confused, that's confusion. That's what the churches teach. Once you pray over it, hey, just say, oh Lord, forgive me for my sins, brother. Now, now Lord, this food is now clean. Amen. Now you start eating unclean food. Then two weeks later, you get cancer. Bring it out. Then you want someone to come pray for you and say, hey, I, I sick. Jesus. You know these are the things that happen in our society. You wonder why women get breast cancer, all these different funny things. Because why? Sister, as an Israelite woman of God, you are required to keep the laws. That's right. That's you understand right. what I'm saying to you? Any Chinese woman you see out there, they can eat that. Ain't no judgment coming on them, you know. But guess what? You being an Israelite woman, sis, guess what? God can bring judgment on you. You see what I'm saying? Because the commandment was only given to us, brother. It wasn't given to everybody. It was given to us as the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. These people are the same right here. These, they make up the 12 tribes of the nature of Israel. Right. Any one of these people sin, God can bring what? Judgment. Sister, if you tell a little small white lie, you can pay a price for that. You understand? You sleep with an next woman husband, you can pay a price for that. You understand? God is a God of order. You understand? I'm trying to say to you, brother? You married or are you single? You married. All right, good man. Make sure you stay home with your wife, bro. You understand? She gonna leave you. So you make sure leave you. See the, see, the, see, the, see the nature of her, brother? Hold on, hold on. We can read something for you. Read. All right, read. Let's see. Let's, let me show you something with God. Read that. Book of Malachi, verse 3. And six, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You know, God said, I change not. You sons of Jacob are the Israelites. God said, He's not going to kill us because why? He gave a chance to repent. Gotcha. Yet, we got to get back right to the heavenly father system. You understand? Did you tell us something about the laws of pants? Jeremiah. So, sister, you understand that now? Now, the next time we see you out here, what you should be wearing? A dress. That's right. That's right. Now, sister, according to the Holy Bible, what is your nationality? Let me just make sure everybody's being trained, teaching you right. What is your nationality called the Bible? What's God call us? Okay, use the second one, but what's, God, what's, what's our, main, our main true identity appeal? They call what? The nation of what? Israel. That's right? right. So we are the Israelites. Okay? We are the ones that have to keep the commandments. You understand? See? You remember now? Remember I said to you earlier? Don't worry what you see other people do. Work out your own salvation with what? 
fear and trembling. Worry about your soul. Let me read that for the sister. Give me that. Philippians 2 and 12. I gotta read that for the sister. Alright? Because guess what? At the end of the day, sister, when you go before the righteous judge, guess what he said? Remember those brothers trying to teach you on the corner about keeping your nationality? And you told them that you can wear your dress. Right? And what your dress supposed to have on it? Look at our look at all our, our clothes. What do you see on the bottom of our clothes? What do you see? What is that? Do you, do you, know, do you know what that's called? What is this called? What is it called, brother? It's called fringes. Okay? That's right. Now you got it, sister. You gotta put fringes on your clothes. That's okay, that's the commandment. That's order with God. That's how you're gonna be blessed. You understand? Read up for the sister. The book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Read. Therefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in not as in my presence only, uh -huh. but now much more in my absence. Read. Work out your own salvation. Like what? With fear and with trembling. So wake out your own. Don't worry, you see him down there sneaking through the house and doing this wrong, you know. He can't deal with God. He deal with the king of terror. You understand? He said the wife believe him. You know, more likely nine or ten times. I mean, I mean, you know, the world's changing, but nine or ten times, the man is there doing some foolishness now. I being real, brother. I, did, I, did, I say yeah. nine out of ten times, the man is doing something. Some of them is trying to be right, you understand? But some of y'all men, we ain't right. Let's be real. Now, sometimes the woman do. Don't get me wrong now, because we know the... Who brought sin? Who brought sin into the world, sister? That's right. See that? The woman. You understand? Let's give me that for your somebody. Let me show you, sister. Two and three, two. Watch this, sister. I can show you something, right? Uh, brother, I want you to sin carefully, okay? But that don't mean you must use this uh, as a way for you to sin now. You still got to walk in righteousness before God. You all understand that? All right, read that for me. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. The most I still have mercy on you all, you understand? But you all got to get right. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because you all were the one that brought sin. You understand? Read. If they continue in, truth, in faith and charity uh -huh. and holiness uh -huh. with severity. With all soberness, sister. You can't be all about getting drunk. You understand? Uh -huh. All right. our sisters morning can't get up because why? They went out partying last night. I've been, I've been driving the road last night. I see them partying on Best Bay Street last night. You understand? But they can't get up in here and go away because why? They was out getting drunk. You understand? And that's the type of thing we're trying to get all away from. Come back to keeping the Lord's statutes commandments of the Most High God because why? We are Israelites. We are the repentant people that must keep the God's laws and the statutes. That's why He will bring judgment on us. You that's understand true. what I'm saying? So, brother, you got that? So, so what's your nationality according to the Bible? No, don't tell me what it's called. Levi. You are Levi. From, okay, so the Levi are the Haitians, right? And you say you what? Second one. Because only scared to say it, sister. Say it. Benji. Benjamin. That's right. That's right. Uh, have you heard about Paul? Paul in the Bible. Yeah. Well, so what, is, what was Paul's nationality? What was he? He was Benjamin. You understand? You won't make me shame. This, I, know, I know something new to you and it sounds strange. You understand? But just guess what? This is the way. You understand? If you're going into Christianity, guess what? You can end up in hell. Trust me, I tell you that. Christianity teaching you this. I sure the Bible is out to you already. This is a false doctrine. Do you know that this man here is a is a faggot and a gay lover? Hey. Or Leonardo da Vinci? Bring it out! This man is a faggot. But this is what we got on our walls. Go in every 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 home in the Bahamas got a picture of just inside the house. You understand? This is a faggot level of, 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 of Leonardo da Vinci. You understand? This is the second son of Pope Alexander of what? The sex of Rome. You understand? Cesar Bogel, that's his name. See y'all can hear the facts, you understand? I know y'all didn't hear that, but that's the truth. Go ahead and Google it and research everything I tell you a lie. You understand? This man is a faggot. You understand? Now let me show you a picture. This is just an illustration. We're not saying that's exactly how our Lord saved it. Look, we're giving you a what? An idea. That the Bible gave him as a what? A dark skinned man. A he of wool. You understand? With red eyes because he drank wine. What, what was the first miracle Christ did? Bring it out. What was the first miracle, sister? Teach. He turned water into what? Turned water into wine, sister. You got it? He turned water into wine. You see? This is this is the right seat. This one used to be lifted. When you go to bed at night, this one should be on your mind. Not right. this. Get this out of your system. You understand? You gotta repent from this. You understand? Give me first Corinthians 5 17. Let me show you something. Alright? Because see, at the end of the day, we as Israelite people, right? You got it? Alright, give me that. 5 17. Yeah. Oh, second Corinthians 5 17. Second. 
I can, I, can, I can give you the mic about the two minutes. Three. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man or woman be in Christ, read. He is a new creature. What do you say, sir? A new creature. You know, sir? Any more than that? All things are passed away. Uh -huh. Behold, all things are become new. All things are passed away. This should be all things to you right now. Okay? Look at this white. That's all things. Okay? This been around from King Hatcher was a hammer. You ever hear the saying before? This, thank you. We, we studied this from way back when we were little boys and girls running around in Sunday school. You understand? Know That's when we were under our presses and we couldn't read and write. Right. You understand? Right. Right. Now we can read and write, brothers, can we? Yes, sir. Okay, That's so right. our understanding is that our Lord and Savior is a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. King of King, Lord of Lords. Right. Okay, not Haley Selassie Island, most of you are racist like that, Grammy. Okay, Haley Haley Selassie is a dead man. That's right. Okay, our Lord and Savior is the God of the living. Jeez. The God of the dead. You understand the Lord? Give me, give me for verse 21, 16. Okay, because our people, we are all in a decayed state of mind. We got to come back to keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? I talked to my sister over there in the back by the bar. She, you know, she said she's going to come in. You understand? Because why? Like I told her, you can hear some new things. But this was all about, sister. Right. You're tired of this old, this old time religion. This, you're tired of this. Come as you are. Render your heart, not your garment. Red and, red, red and yellow, black and white, we are precious in the sight. That's a false teaching. That's Only right. the Israelites are precious in God's sight. Only the Israelites are apples of God's eye. That's these people on the sign there, sister. You understand? You must repent as an Israelite daughter of Zion. Right. You must repent as an Israelite man of God. Okay? Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Bring it up. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding Read. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. If you stay in Christianity, you will remain in the congregation of the dead. This right. is a dead religion. This is dead. This punishment. You understand? If you want to get true repentance, you've got to come back as an Israelite. Sister, you got a minute, sister? Hi, I got a question. Come here, sister. Let me show you something in the Bible. Come here. Come here, sister. Come here. Let me show you something, sis. Come. Let me show you something. Don't let, don't let her get to heaven and leave you behind. The Bible says two should be in the field grinding and one should be taken away. All right? Come here. Let me show you something. Which one of these scriptures is Christ? Which one is Jesus? See that? Now you, now you all see what I'm talking about? Bring it this up. This what I'm talking up. about. You understand? This is not Jesus, you understand? Teach. This is Caesar Boucher, like I told him earlier. This is the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Right. This man is a faggot. Okay? This man is not the image, this is not the true image of our Lord and Savior. This is the image of our Lord and Savior. You understand? A black man from the tribe of Judah. You understand? If you got this inside your house, take it down. This right. is a cursed thing. Right. Take this out of your house. Give me that. You right one, Deuteronomy 725. Well, that's what it is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me that. You understand? Because at the end of the day, guess what? You have to believe truth, okay? We deal with truth. You understand? You all come over? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Come, come up. Come forward. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 25. Read. Bring it up. The graven images of their God. The graven images of their God, because this is a false here, yeah? Image of the beast. All right? Read. Shall ye burn with fire. What are you supposed to do with this, sister? What God just said you supposed to do with this? Burn it with what? Burn it with fire. That's right. Read. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, Read. nor take it unto thee, uh -huh. lest thou be snared therein. Lest you be trapped therein, the voice there being trapped. Read. For it is an abomination. It is a what? It is an abomination. Is an abomination a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. You got it, sister? Read. To the Lord thy God. Read. Neither shall thou bring an abomination into thy house. God said you're not supposed to bring an abomination into your house. Lest thou be a cursed thing like it. That's why we are cursed today, sisters. Y'all wonder why we living like this? Okay? Water's all through the areas. You can't drive through all, all the yards. You got it. All these things. You know why? God ain't getting our blessings because we got these things all through our homes. Right. That's why we curse. You understand? Know we get our blessings when we repent and come back to God. We check in the true Lord and Savior. The God of Israel. You understand? Not this white God here where they have you. This is a false image. You understand? This is a curse thing. This is an abomination in God's eyesight. You all got that? That's how we have to be as Israelites. You understand? This is, listen, you all can remember. Listen, sister, we love you all. We want you all to repent and come back to keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.